Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, the 10th of September. Tomorrow marks 15 years since 9 11, which is. That is crazy. Mind blowing. That's five years from yeah. 20. Oh, wow, nice math. No, it's it's crazy though. That's that seems like not that long ago, but yeah, 15 more years. Wow. But on a happier note, uh, we found out one week ago from today. Was it only a week ago? Yeah, it's only been a week. So we found out a week ago that we are pregnant with our first little bump, and we're hoping it's a girl. But I mean, a healthy boy or girl would be great, or both. <laughs> <laughs> you are so yeah, but anyway, um, we're very excited. We are. We're going to go, you know, window shop today. We have to wait till a few days from now when we get paid for, uh, you know, actual shopping. But we're gonna go window shop and dream and all that sort of thing. But yeah. it doesn't have to be a dream anymore, man. We, we, I know we're actually, actually researching happen. for a purpose. We're like buying yeah. stuff for a purpose. I personally don't really want to buy anything right now because I want to wait to see what we get for free at our showers. Yeah. But I know that once, it's really easy for me right now not to buy anything because we don't know the gender. But as soon as we figure out the gender, I'm gonna want to be buying stuff. Yep, yep, yep. And we have a ultrasound. September 26th. September 26th. Which, so a couple of weeks from now. So I did some uh, Google work and discovered the difference between an ultrasound and a sonogram being that a sonogram is the actual product, the picture that is produced by the procedure, which is an ultrasound. Uh -huh. So, we got that cleared up. So we have an ultrasound scheduled for the 26th of September, which we will then get to take home our sonogram. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. That makes sense. So that's like, Thanks what, for three, up, three weeks from now? Two? No. Yeah, like well, it's, it's two Wednesday. Saturdays away, and then plus a Sunday, and well, it's, it's, 16 then it's days Monday. From now, huh? Yeah, right. So. so 16 days from now, and by then, according to my app, now this is before we've, this is before we've seen a doctor or anything. But according to my pregnancy app, we are, I think today marks we're we're like on the last day of our sixth week. Yeah, I think that's right. So by the time we have an ultrasound, we'll be we'll be within the first two days of our ninth week. So. That's gonna be, it, it's crazy to me because I didn't know how they counted it um, before now. And so I I feel like we shouldn't be six weeks already. Like, yeah, apparently, you know, apparently they count your uh, your date as far along as you are, whatever, however you wanna put that, as uh, starting with the first day of your of last of, period. Of the last time you actually started a period. So. Right. So it's kind of weird, like, and, but then ovulation is a couple of weeks later, which, yeah. you know, science, that's when you're getting pregnant. So it's weird that, like, you're, you're six weeks along, but technically our baby is it's only, only four like weeks old. three or four weeks. So. But according to doctor standard, it's considered six weeks. So, you know, we, we're six weeks pregnant, though. Right. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so babe, have you had any symptoms this week? Yes, I've had morning sickness, constant <laughs> headaches. Oh, poor baby. No, I've I've been feeling good. No, no uh, sympathy symptoms. None. No, I don't think so. How about you? Have you had any pregnancy symptoms? So I had a headache Saturday, then I had a headache Sunday, and then I was really nauseated Sunday night apparently. Um, but after that, I haven't had any. I haven't had any symptoms which I'm very thankful for. I have been praying that I would not have morning sickness because my sister had it really really bad. My mom had it really really bad and besides that I'm a chicken and so the Lord knows what I can handle. Oh okay. Go. How rude. <laughs> I ought to just like put it in reverse. No, you shouldn't do that. So anyway, I'm, I'm excited. like Chubby McChubbins over here. Oh, Look yeah, at this. Right there. You've got your own little bump going. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, we're excited and I'm just thankful that I haven't been very, very, very ill. And so we shall see. Everybody says that the morning sickness doesn't start till like week seven or eight. So that should, I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm not claiming it either. 
Also, some more symptoms that I've had have been that I feel very fat. <laughs> the bloating is ridiculous. I already feel like, like if I don't suck in or hold it in or anything, I already look like I'm like 28 weeks pregnant. <laughs> I'm serious. That's not true. But I'm not starting out with a flat stomach anyway, so. But I feel fat. And also, I've been very sleepy. Like the first three days, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, I was like going to bed at 10 o'clock, not having any trouble going to sleep. But then I would wake up at six, just bright eyed and bushy tailed. And now it's like, I'm doing that same thing, but during the day, sitting at my desk at work, I'm just like falling asleep. And I'm just like, I feel very exhausted. Like I'm not able to, do any not that I'm not able to I just have no motivation to clean after I get off work I usually do about an hour of cleaning after I get off work just to keep the house going and steady and it didn't happen the last four days I was a lounge lizard um, let me think is there any more symptoms that I've experienced um, I have I did notice that last week when I was still waiting for my period to start, whenever I would stand up, I would have these really strange cramping, stretching points of pain in, in my lower pelvic area. And I was watching some other YouTube videos about that and everybody was saying that that's already your, like your uterus is already beginning to stretch. It's preparing to stretch. So that was interesting to know after the fact that that was like an early pregnancy symptom that I didn't, I didn't notice. I've been very moody. I don't want to admit it, but I have been. <laughs> Not, but I'm, I'm surprised because I haven't been super emotional. I haven't been, and I never understood, why is it? I never understood this. When women say emotional, I never connected that to crying. I just thought that meant moody. But when I say emotional, I meant cry. I mean crying. I have not been crying, but I have been moody. I've gotten up a couple of days this week on you the know. wrong side of the bed. Yeah, for sure you've had it. Very grumpy. She's been emotional. Basically, we're building my doghouse out back. Me sleeping. No, oh, it's fine. It's mm -hmm. it's good. I don't want I don't want you to think that you can't tell me the truth. good it's all good <laughs> well your mother told you from the get-go that don't take anything personally so oh, I don't take anything personally. and he really hasn't I usually if I'm grumpy he lets me know but this week he didn't he's been very you knew <laughs> you didn't have to be told <laughs> <laughs> so anyway let's see I'm trying to think of all the symptoms that I've logged in my app there's been a lot like and, and every day is kind of different I'll have some carryovers from the day before and then I'll have some new symptoms overall I would say it's been an easy week yeah it has been it hasn't been bad So we just need about 35 or so more of those and we're done yeah <laughs> and then we're done that's it. I mean that we just go and have the baby and then we don't I mean nothing nothing else is hard after that that's right just Pregnancy is the hardest part of it all. Right. I mean, not the baby, not the yeah. newborn, not the, the sleep deprivation. No, that's easy. I am really excited to be a parent, though. I mean, it's going to be a lot of work. The car is going to be nasty. Little crumbled up goldfish all over the, the place. The house is going to be gross. I am going to have to be okay but, with that. But I am really excited to be a parent. I think my heart, is, I think right now, looking forward, my hardest struggle is going to be first of all learning how to breastfeed because there's so many nuances to that once you start researching and looking at videos and you know you just realize that it's not it's not just breastfeeding it's like very very detailed stuff that you have to learn and you have to teach this little bitty newborn baby how to do it you can't it's not like they just innately know how to do it Dick represent just, and then the second thing I'm going to struggle with is letting go of the chores. Just being okay with a dirty house. 
being okay with a dirty house and and choosing sleep over productivity choosing that's very hard for choosing me. husband over productivity huh you're gonna be you're not gonna go let go of the chores you're gonna be like babe I need you to do this I am taking care of this baby you're gonna have to do this probably there's no letting go involved probably you're gonna shove it off on me which well that's is, okay that's fine and that's that's normally what first first time and new new moms do hey I'm not complaining I'm just trying to set the set the expectations here I mean let's be realistic you're not gonna be like living in a pigsty and just be happy about it yeah. no I'll, I won't be happy about it and I will expect you to do it I'm just saying I will have to be okay that if you don't do it exactly when I ask you to do not get up and do it myself sit down go to sleep or something crazy that's gonna be a struggle because i struggle with that now and i don't basically have any extra I think stress Seconds. Let's see if let's see if Daddy can beat it. I'm sure he can. Three, two, one, go. Oh, look at you! 17 seconds. That's pretty easy. champagne version. I like the champagne version better. This is only $380. What are these? Are they just strollers or are they also car seat? I don't know. Look at this thing. Yeah, I like that much That's better. That's amazing. It's $300. <laughs> There, baby. I've got a little elephant trying to get. This is too light. It's not, it doesn't feel like a baby. <laughs> I think this is my first craving. I don't know. Saturday, I was kind of craving pizza. But this Saturday, I am craving a hamburger like oh, nobody's business. Yeah, okay, so not the rug store. Um, I can't see. We're trying to show you is this here. Well, okay, whatever. It's Five Guys uh, five Burgers guys. and Fries. Five Guys and the Fries. Oh, you know what I'm wanting, though? A barbecue bacon burger. I really mm. hope that they have one because I'm needing one. It's desperate. But those fries. Fries are good. Oh, I can't um, wait. Let's go. 